Around the country are struggling to navigate the ongoing baby formula shortage, and the government is working on some relief. But for some, it just can't get here soon enough. Local 12's Kristen Cornett has a look at how some moms are trying to keep their babies fed. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Yeah, this situation causing a lot of stress. Scrolling through my Facebook every day, I see parents sharing their struggle, the shortage causing some to look into breast milk sharing. And I've been speaking with an admin who helps run a group on social media. And in the last month, they've seen a stark increase. They told me in people looking into joining the group. And, and just in the last week, they saw more than 60 new member requests, which is much more than usual. So I reached out to Ohio Health. This organization runs a mother's mi milk bank. There's one located here in the area, but they're based out of Columbus. This. And this is the statement that they gave me. The majority of milk that Ohio Health Mother's Milk Bank distributes goes to hospital NICUs around the country, and a small portion goes out to parents who reach out to us with a need. However, in order to receive donor milk, they must have a prescription from their pediatrician and fill out some paperwork. So Ohio Health's best advice, and this is advice you'll see across the board, talk to your pediatrician. Just recently, the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine released a statement with some guidelines for parents who might be considering this. This route, of course, there are some potential considerations to take into mind if this is something that you're interested in learning more about. If you take a look at this web version of this story, I have a bunch of links there I just sent in with several different articles for your consideration. Bob. Kristen, thank you. So far, the Senate has approved one bill to improve access to baby formula. It will make sure families with WIC benefits can continue to buy formula during a public health emergency. A second bill to provide $28 million in emergency funding to help boost formula production passed the House Wednesday, but is still being weighed in the Senate. President Biden has also invoked the Defense Production Act to help manufacturers and increase imports from overseas.